Today, the slice backhand, and also a slice variation that I personally believe is the most underused shot in tennis today. But first, let's look at the slice backhand at pro level. So let's go ahead and highlight a few key points. The same shake hands grip that featured in the video 34 and 35 for the volleys, drop volleys and drop shots works just as well for the slice or something very close to it. Turn your body, steady the racket with your opposite hand and keep the shape of your arm and racket by manoeuvring the take back from your shoulders. For a controlled slice, you don't need a big take back, something up here will do. If you want maximum spin on your slice backhand, then make the take back a little bigger by going higher and further behind your head, like this. It's crucial to straighten out your arm before contact. Nice straight arm, and then to understand that the whole swing is driven from your shoulder. The spin comes from the swing path and the, and the racket accelerating through the swing. Any attempt to use wrist movement to create that spin will ruin your backhand slice. A steep high to low through contact point and across the body. The follow through is simply to allow the racket to decelerate into a natural finish. Are you gonna hit a few slices now? Why would I hit slices when we've got the king of slice here? Ah, oh, my time has come. Here we can clearly see how the arm straightens before contact. Now, let's check that swing path, high to low and across the body. And here's a defensive slice, and a more attacking one with a longer swing. So what about that most underused shot in tennis today? I call it the drop slice, half drop shot, half regular slice. The aim to put the ball in a really uncomfortable part of the court for your opponent. Other than making life difficult for your opponent, other advantages of the drop slice is that it's easy to disguise before hitting, it gets to the target quickly because it travels straight and low over the net, and it adds variety to your game which will keep your opponent guessing. Here's Trev. And there's that area of the court that makes life very difficult for your opponent. And once again, Paul is in trouble. And it works on the forehand too. Be aware that the drop shot and drop slice are easier to hit when there's less distance between you and the target area. Therefore, they are best used as an alternative attacking option when you are in control of the rally. The drop slice is best used against opponents who don't like moving up the court and being at the net, and also against opponents who have those extreme forehand grips that make it very difficult to deal with low balls. So why not get out there and give the drop slice a go and I look forward to see you on the next video.